Now, before we get into polygroup it, the Z plugin, let's talk about just general polygrouping in ZBrush and how it kind of works and how you would do that traditionally within ZBrush. So if we go down here to the polygroups menu, you're going to see we've got a lot of options in here. One of those is if we turn on polyframe, you're going to see we already have polygroups on there. So as we were using our deform primitive, it was adding new shapes and cutting in these with polygroups. Let's go ahead and hit Control W, and that is essentially group mask clear mask. Now if I don't have any masks on my object, it basically just gives a polygroup to whatever is visible on my screen. Speaking of visibility, you can make any section of your mesh visible, hit Control W, Control Shift Tap to bring everything back, and now you've polygrouped those areas. If you hit Control W again, we get all one polygroup. You can also hold down Control and mask an area, and then hit Control W, and now since we had a mask, we'll go ahead and do that again, it did a group what was masked, gave me a polygroup what was masked, and then it cleared that mask. Now there's a million different ways to do normals. You can snap to the side and you can do like group visible. Oh, I'm sorry, that just groups everything. You can do group front and then whatever's in the front can get polygrouped and then whatever's not camera facing is not polygrouped. So control W. Like we said before, you can mask in here, hit control W. You can also, you're gonna see when we hit control W, we're getting a very aliased look here. If we want, we can mask an area out, go up to Geometry Edge Loop, and you can do Edge Loop Mask Border, and that'll slice in an edge loop through this. Now, if this is on a very low-res mesh, so if we go up here and just tap our cylinder primitive, hit Make Poly Mesh 3D, and then we hold down Control, let's go into Mask Lasso, and let's just grab a section of this here. If we do a Geometry Edge Loop, Edge Loop Mask Border, you're gonna see it's gonna cut a very nice shape around there. And at this point you can extract and Z modeler or whatever you want to do to make these into panels. And actually sticking with this poly mesh cylinder, what we can also do if we go down here to polygroups, we can say, okay, I want to keep this polygroup, but I'm going to isolate just this light blue polygroup poly group by control shift clicking on it. And then I can do group by normals. And then based on your normal angle threshold right here, you can see it's going to go ahead and add polygroups to the top and the bottom. And then I can hold down control shift and bring everything back. Now the reason I hid that first is because if I do group by normals, it's going to get rid of those because those normal angles are much less than 45 degrees. So just one way to kind of keep your polygroups available to you. And like I said before, you can just go in here and Q mesh polygroup all and start pushing in this geometry and pulling this out and doing all sorts of modeling um, to do your hard surface stuff. Anyway, there's a lot more ways to polygroup stuff. If you want, go to my YouTube channel and watch the Intro to ZBrush Part 1 to Part 2, Part 3. That'll get you caught up on all the different polygrouping methods, but I just wanted to cover some traditional ways to polygroup, and those are geometry ways. Now, remember we said polygroup it from polypaint? You can actually do that in ZBrush without the polygroup it plugin. Granted, it's a little bit slower, a little more rudimentary, but what you can do is, you can go and say into our standard brush, so BST, Let's go ahead and get rid of that brush alpha here. We're going to turn off Z add, turn on RGB. Let's go to a black color. If we start painting on our mesh here and we rotate, you're going to see, if we go into subtool here, it's turn on that colorize and now we can paint with our standard brush. We don't have to paint with black, it's just the most obvious one. So now I can just paint where I want my mask to go. So we can just use poly paint and you can hit C to sample the white color or just go over here and select white. And now you can paint out what you don't want to have. And if you're happy with this, go down here to your polygroups menu and you can do from poly paint. And now if you turn on polyframe here, you're going to see wherever you poly painted, you will now have a polygroup. So let's go back up to geometry, turn off colorize, just click off that little paintbrush there, and you'll see we now have polygroups based on our poly paint. And of course you want cleaner lines and you had Sculptures Pro mode turned on. If you haven't watched the Sculptures Pro videos in this series, you can actually make your brush smaller and you can get much nicer, crisper lines. And of course you make your brush size bigger, it's going to test light more. So go back and watch those videos if you want to see the different functionality for the different resolutions you can get. Anyway, let's go ahead and turn off colorize. Let's go back to our white color here, hit Control w make it all one polygroup, and now we'll start cutting in some panel lines.